Fox joins the state's largest weather team. It's Fox. Now on Fox. Meteorologist Jeff Fox, only on Fox Connecticut News. A state representative from Seymour is asking the Connecticut DOT to move forward with plans to widen an intersection at a busy part of town. Fox Connecticut's George Culley has the story from Seymour. State Representative Len Green Jr. snapped this picture last week. A car lodged under a home in Seymour, stopping just short of the Housatonic River. The freshman representative says this scene is a case of deja vu. As I understand it, he's been, this house has been hit before, so this isn't the first time it's happened. Green is fighting to make this the last time that homeowner, who lives at the intersection of Route 34 and Route 188, deals with such an incident. After the accident on Friday night, I decided enough was enough and wrote an official letter to, uh, to the commissioner of the DOT. It's not only that intersection of Route 34 and 188 that concerns Representative Green. It's actually a three-mile stretch that begins here at Stevenson Dam in Oxford and goes all the way to here in the downtown section of Derby. Department of Transportation spokesman Kevin Nursick acknowledged that the DOT has plans in place for the intersection at Route 34 and 188. However, he says the need to change the area is not because of safety. Over a six-year period from 2003 to 2008, there were 21 accidents at the intersection. The majority of accidents have been driver errors, i.e. falling too close or speeding. The DOT is looking at changes for functionality and efficiency, not safety. Nursick says that the project is one of nearly 100 unfunded projects throughout the state. With no clear pattern that shows the accidents are related to the geometry of the road, there is no sense of urgency to give the go-ahead for construction. Seymour Police confirmed that since 2008, there have been an additional 26 accidents at the intersection. Representative Green is hopeful that following this latest accident, action will be taken. And there are a lot of different things that, that probably have to go into this. It's probably not a quick solution, but at least we could start here in this intersection and maybe move on and try to make this road a lot safer for people who travel. From Seymour, George Colley, Fox, Connecticut.